Of and course. It was wonderful 30 yeah. years ago. Yeah. And I read oh, yeah. it, I don't know what I think now. And I mean, in a way, it's absurd because we can't be here. <coughs> and there is no here and there is no now. But in another no, way, it kind of hits the nail on the head. Except that I don't know if he meant it like this, but it sounds like an injunction. Doesn't mm. it? it sounds like you must try to be here now. And in a way, that's the problem with these spiritual parts. They turn into injunctions. I'm convinced that very often they set out just as descriptions. <coughs> mm. But the people who hear them don't understand that. So they turn it, they turn them into injunctions. So somebody may say, liberation is just being here now. And then 200 years later, you've got an enormous spiritual school of being here now. <laughs> Everybody is going around with ferociously knitted brows, trying like mad to be here now. <laughs> As if there were a choice. And all as if there was a choice. I'll tell you what, I'll hold the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Make yeah. a change. And all the poor chap 300 years earlier had meant was there isn't anywhere else to be <laughs> and there isn't any other time to be. this new book called by an Australian writer, first book by an Australian, this particular Australian writer about, it's kind of about non-duality, some of it is, it's a lovely book, and he's trying to describe awakening, and one of the things he says is memory, buggered beyond belief. Buggered. You don't want to know. It's quite rude. <laughs> it's not it's good not to tell us some other words. Memory buggered beyond belief. Memory completely fucked. Doesn't work anymore. And yet, in a way, it does because the one who the one who has awakened, that sounds like a pompous <laughs> phrase, doesn't it? The character, the individual, can still find their way home. They go to the car park, they still know which, he drives a Volkswagen microbus, this Australian, goes to the car park, he still knows which Volkswagen microbus is his. So in a way, you know, autobiographical memory is intact, and yet it's buggered beyond belief. It just doesn't work. There's no reality to the past. It's just becomes two-dimensional. And I think one of the ways we could put that is that what's realised is it always was two-dimensional and non-existent, but it seemed three-dimensional because it was pumped up with the projections of the person. As long as there was a separate person there investing the so-called past with this energy of belief, it seems very real. When the person collapses, the past collapses as well. I mean, it's like the collapse of something that was never real, but it seemed real. So what's real? Oh, haven't we been here before? <laughs> Where else could we be? My assertion is that this is real, in a way. Yeah. In that, if reality means anything, and I claim that it clearly does, because if we, it didn't, we wouldn't have the word, if reality means anything, this is what it means. Mm. This is as real as anything gets. If you like, this is 
an appearance. It's a real appearance. Really appearing open, now. Yeah. Hmm? Really appearing now. It's what's really, really appearing, appearing now. In this. That's why I don't use the word illusion. Because yeah. although literally the word illusion is fine, for most people they take it to the word illusion to mean unreal. Mm -hmm. So it's not helpful. Yeah. I mean, it's just absurd to say this isn't real. Mm -hmm. Good. It's a real appearance. This is a real waking dream. It's not an imaginary or an illusory waking <laughs> dream. It's a real waking dream. This is a real dream chocolate biscuit. Thank goodness it's not an illusory dream chocolate biscuit. And as I was saying the other day, I have no idea if this makes sense or not, but, you know, I'm going to try it. You know, the level of reality of this, this is a wake, this is a dream table, this is a dream character. So they have the same level of reality. So of course this is real to this. Because they, they have the same level of reality. <coughs> this may only be a dream chocolate biscuit, but it's going into a dream mouth to be digested by a dream stomach. <laughs> so everything's fine. Tout va bien. And the few the past, the past is real, because if I have a thought about yesterday's dinner, that's a real thought. Mm -hmm. It's a real dream thought, funked by a real dream character. But both the past and the future can be tormenting, we know that. Richtig. They can both torment us. So, you know, we talk about liberation. It's not a good word, but there are no good words for this. We talk about liberation. What does liberation mean? Liberation means freedom. Mm -hmm. Freedom from what? Freedom from the torture and torment of the past and the future to some mm. extent. I mean, that's just one thing we could say. We could say many other things, but that's one thing we can say. Freedom from the torture of the past and the future. I'm not going to be caught on camera <laughs> eating a chocolate <laughs> biscuit. Okay. 